Hi, my name is Thomas Fudge, and I'm looking at decentralized sanitation for developing communities with energy and nutrient recovery. 2.4 billion people in the world have inadequate sanitation. Nine out of 10 people in rural areas open defecate. Women and children in slums are too afraid to use communal toilets at night, forcing them to use plastic bags which are discarded on the streets. All of this is causing 800 children to die needlessly every single day. Now, whilst teaching in Ghana and travelling around India, I've seen the issues surrounding sanitation. With facilities mainly consisting of pit latrines, which are cheap to build but require emptying, which can be costly. And sometimes this forces local governments and NGOs to either shut them or let them overflow, spreading disease. Now, governments see sewage networks with centralised treatment as the pinnacle of wastewater technologies. However, these systems were designed by the Victorians. They combine all of the waste streams together, polluting water, our most valuable resource. Not only that, these systems are expensive to install and to build um, and to maintain. In the UK alone, we have a 100-year replacement cycle on all of our pipes. And this caused vast water leakages from the breaking. And these countries cannot afford to have that. Now it's time that we start to innovate and develop new systems so these countries can avoid this outdated approach. And this is where my research comes in, as I'm looking at decentralised wastewater treatment technologies that allow you to treat your waste locally in its concentrated form. Using methods that are based on a circular economy that allow you to recover the water, nutrients to produce fertiliser and energy that can be used by the locals. I'm looking at microbial electrolysis cells. Now, these cells have two compartments. On one side, you have the carbon anode. And on this anode, you have bacteria growing. And this bacteria feeds and break down the organic compounds within the water. And what you do is you apply a small electrical charge to the cell. And this gives the bacteria a little kick up the backside, just like your morning coffee, and gets them working a little bit faster. And then on the other side of the cell, you have the metal cathode. And now the combination of the organic compounds being broken down and the electrical charge being applied, you can start to produce hydrogen. And now this hydrogen can be used as a cooking fuel, and it can replace existing fuel, um, fuels such as coal or wood, which cause death from air pollution. Now, I'm just at the start of my research, working on lab-scale systems. But in two years, I aim to have facilities where I can test the feasibility, looking at how the hydrogen can be used and how the new fertiliser can be used locally. And eventually, I want to use this system to empower the locals so that they have the tools to alleviate themselves from poverty. Thank you.